watching a mama bear, big Kodiak brown bear with her cubs feeding on salmon. That's pretty amazing. That's spectacular. show you guys what I've been doing for the last 24 hours. It's been such a beautiful experience. I am currently sitting on the Thumb River. That's Carlick Lake in the background. There's the boat that brought me here. Walked up the land. This is actually the location where I filmed uh, a one-hour documentary called Alaska's Grizzly Gauntlet. And you can actually see it on Disney Plus on the National Geographic uh, menu, Alaska's Grizzly Gauntlet. That's a show that I did here a couple of years ago. And I am back to visit my old friends, Broken Ear, maybe see Coco, maybe see Midnight, so bears that I became familiar with when I was here filming that special. But my point being that it took me no time to get here. This is, let's face it, this is a bizarre couple of years now that we're all dealing with when it comes to traveling. Well, if you want nature, and it seems everybody does and should, and you want to get out to somewhere really special. The Kodiak Brown Bear Center on Carlick Lake in Alaska is where I'm at. It is 100% worth the experience. I'm sitting on the edge of this river watching these beautiful brown bears, mamas with cubs and, and young. It's just really breathtaking. So I have a look. Okay, so one big mama bear feeds up there. I got a small window of opportunity to get down into the water here. And set up a camera. Okay, it's important I'm not actually alone. See? Got some bear viewers right behind me right there. So, this is what this is all about right here. There we go, right there. That's what this is all about. Getting fat on these pinks, silvers, reds. This is the Thumb River feeding down into Carlock Lake, which then goes down the Carlock River to the ocean. And right here, picking up one of these babies is what it's all about. So probably around that bend, there's likely a mama bear or a single. I know there's one right down that bend. And I'm just taking this moment to pop down here, get a little camera in the water and uh, get back up to Relative safety up there. Look at that. There's my friends right there. Look at them. Very happy bear viewers watching a mama bear, big Kodiak brown bear with her cubs feeding on salmon. That's pretty amazing. That's spectacular. So I'm going to get this camera in the water, get back up and see what we can experience over the next couple of hours of just the most beautiful and incredible bear viewing you will ever experience.
I hate when I have to do this really quickly and my camera gear is not cooperating because I want to get out of here before another bear comes walking through, which is about every 15 minutes. That's probably one bear, at least maybe 40 yards from me at this given moment. Okay, there we go. It's not every day that the pressure of getting your camera gear set up is hastened by three to 600 pound Kodiak brown bears milling about close by. But it is today, and that's a wonderful thing. You know, I actually left this morning from Southern Oregon and made it here by the end of the day to view the Kodiak brown bears at the, at the Brown Bear Center on Kodiak Island in Alaska. I did that all in one day. That's how accessible it is, and it's just awesome. I'm gonna set up this camera before I have a visitor. So I'm just at the other end of Carlock Lake, uh, following the Carlock River, and checking out some archaeological dig sites that are uh, here, there's many of them uh, throughout Kodiak Island, incredible places of research and study that are thousands and tens of thousands of years old. I mean, look at look at that beauty in behind me there. I'm just seeing myself in the in the camera, and my gosh, that's beautiful back there. Well, here, just up here, you know, I've come across across many of these, but check this out. That is a bona fide grizzly bear bed, which is to say, a Kodiak brown bear. Oh yeah, I should talk about the difference of that sometime. Actually, the reality is that you have uh, you have subspecies, but basically speaking, uh, grizzly bear, brown bear, and Kodiak brown bear are are all the same species. The grizzlies are more inland, feeding on more uh, uh, different types of game. The brown bears are coastal bears, and the Kodiak brown bears are the ones, the 3,500 or so uh, bears that live only on Kodiak Island and reported to be the largest in the world. Of course, people who live up in polar bear territory have an argument with that. Bottom line is both those species, the Kodiak brown and the polar bear can get up to like, close to 2,000 pounds. Yeah, so if you're staring one down, it really doesn't matter what species it is at that point. It's a big, big bear. And this is a bear bed. Yeah. All right, onwards, find some more bears. See if I can get this right. So learned a little kids game for remembering all the different kinds of salmon and the fact that they almost all have uh, a dual name. I don't know why that happened, but it happened. So you start off with um, a thumb and chum, thumb, chum. And who is also your best friend and your chum? Dog. So the first species are chum, dog salmon. Index finger, you point, and sock you in the eye, sock eye. What happens when you sock someone in the eye? Their eye turns red, so sock eye or red salmon. Middle finger, largest finger, so it's the king of all salmon, and we don't really have a reason for calling them also Chinook, but king and Chinook, at least a funky fun reason to figure it out. So king and Chinook, ring finger, what do you put on your ring finger? Silver, silver salmon. And lastly, pinky, pink, and there's a little hump there on your pinky, pink or hump, humpy salmon. Those are the five types of salmon and their duality names, if you will. And see, I've even forgotten what the second name for silver is. Someone's watching us going, hey, silver is also called, I can't remember, put it in a post. I'm just too caught up in the beauty right now to remember everything. This is amazing. Look at those sockeye. This sockeye right down there. Yes, I do. I remember. Silver and coho. There. Oh, that little 
little one's got a bit of giddy up in her. She's got some of that, wait up mom, energy going on there. Where else can you sit in a place like this? I mean, what? there's the river. Where these beautiful, largest bears on the planet come strolling right by you, fishing with their young uh, solo uh, juveniles. Even the odd large male. It's really incredible. And you know what? I'm not on a man-made boardwalk with 40 to 60 other people all clicking shutters. I'm here with six people. Uh, and the Brown Bear Center just, they take such good care of you. The lodge is incredibly comfortable. The camaraderie is wonderful. And everybody's pretty much on the same page. If you can, it's worth the effort. It's worth the means. We save up for all kinds of different holidays, don't we? Whether we want to go overseas or whether we just want to go canoeing in some northern spot or hiking somewhere, we save up. And there's always a cost to it. Well, this is one of those expenses in life. If you can manage the time, manage the means, far exceeds being worth it. This is a once in a lifetime place to be. And put it on your bucket list right now and make sure you check off that box as soon as you can. This is a lot better than TV.